Hi everyone, Clayton speaking. Um, update number two for Edic Beer's New Year's Challenge. Um, I've gotten this far on my uh, Farseer, which I'm pretty happy with the results so far. Um, what have I done? Well, I've done the cape at the back. Um, I wanted that to look like a to look like natural sort of bone colours. Um, the same way I've painted a lot of my older tanks um, and walkers now, like my Revenant Titan and Wraith Knight and whatnot. Um, I'm going to sort of shift more towards the bone colour rather than the yellows. Um, just enjoying painting bone at the moment, so um, yeah, I thought I'd give that a shot. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, the colours that I used on this one, um, I started over a white undercoat and then I used, let me see if I can focus this, I used the um, bestial brown, or bestial, however you want to say it, brown, I painted all, all of the cloak focus. Yeah, so I painted all of the cloak um, in a dark brown first. I find it just, for the end result, it actually just, it doesn't make it look yellow. I think sometimes if you just use bone colours and then whites over the top, it can, it can pull out a yellow pigment. It's quite weird with some of these GW colours. So the darker brown just keeps that sort of that brown and bone effect running all the way through. Then the, the next colour I use is the snake bite leather. Um, again, I, I completely sort of I cover the bestial brown as much as I can with that colour. Um, from there, I just use a, a fairly watery bubonic brown um, cover the whole thing and then I just sort of I start to do a couple of coats in the creases crevices and nooks and crannies then over the top of that <clears throat> I start to build up with um, Ushapti bone and so you can see the gradient of brown in through that little bit there you can see where I've started to work it out still keeping that um, bubonic brown in the creases and then I mix Ushapti bone with with white just with the old white scar and start to build up on the creases so that's the process as boring as that is it's how I do it, it seems to work pretty well it works for me so um, now as far as the the black cloak is concerned um, I don't know if the light will pick this up but I actually haven't used any black at all I know that probably sounds weird because it kind of looks black with grey highlights, but it's uh, it's all done with greys, um, just to give it that black effect, um, done over a white undercoat. Um, I actually started with uh, shadow grey, and the, the shadow grey was mixed with armour wash, which I guess, if you wanted to, you could probably argue that's, that is a black, but... It's not really black paint, it's it's a wash. Um, so to get into the creases, into the crevices, I just use that, um, I don't think this is going to, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see, it's actually just an extremely dark grey. Then from there I use the, um, I use the shadow grey. Then I went up through, um, with the shadow grey, I've actually just used white. So I just did, did some wet blending to bring it up to that extreme grey highlight just using three colours basically so with the shadow grey as my primary colour I just tinted them as I went um, and as far as the reds are concerned I know a lot of people have been having I read a lot about people having trouble painting reds and making them pop and I know it's, it's hard, to, hard to photograph and video red at times um, but what I do is I, when I paint red, I always use a white undercoat. Like I, I always, use, I never ever paint red over black because it always makes it look muddy and dull. If that's the effect you're going for, then sweet, cool. You know, that's all good. But to make red pop, you're going to paint it over white. <clears throat> and then what I do is I just use, um, I just use blood red as my primary color, as my mid-tone color. And I, I water it down heaps. And then I just paint really light, really watery 
you, you can see on the extreme edges there that you can just see a little bit of sort of white coming through and I'll get to that in a minute but yeah I just use it really light and then I just sort of start to paint the subsequent layers into the creases and it darkens it up like it'll naturally start to um, shade itself red it's a great color for that um, and then right in the extreme crease and then underneath here you can you can see as well in through here very very light watered down crimson gore and then what I do is I I, I don't kind of highlight it per se uh, with any reds at all I actually shade it I think I think you find it's better if you shade red and pull it back into the creases rather than try and highlight it and get that pink color happening um, and then over over this edge here and some of the extreme edges I just did a, a very very light coat very watery coat a fiery orange and that's just picked up that extreme edge you can you can see it on the bottom of this cloak here it actually looks like it's it's highlighted red but it's not it's just a that sort of little tiny bit of orange tinge through it which I think you'll find you can see it pick up on here as well that's just the orange because in the color spectrum you know they're, they're very similar colors so they work well together but anyway that's just me having a rant and trying to put my ideas through I suppose um, if you want to have a chop at it please do um, give me some feedback and see how you go with it always interested to see how people go when they um, try my techniques so yeah that's um that's the fast here and as far as Sonia's concerned that's about as far as I've gotten because we've had a lot of rain here lately and I won't undercoat um, when it's raining or when there's moisture or it's high humidity in the air because it ends up just making you making the undercoat go on what I call fluffy so um, yeah so I had, there was a break in the weather and it was it was pretty good so I had a chance to undercoat her um, so yeah that'll be the next one I start on I don't think I'll finish the fast year before I start on this one I might just start on this one and, and crack on um, but yeah there we go guys that's my update that's what I'm up to um, cheers for all the comments and all the support it's really great great little community so um, everyone's getting on board for the next challenge that's brilliant so yeah uh, if you like this video like comment subscribe it's always helping me um, I do appreciate it I read everyone's comments and try and um, comment back so yeah cheers guys thanks for watching bye now